Yeah. Are you expecting to win, Derek? Yeah. Who do you think is going to win the main event? Time for you, it didn't work out, but a big opportunity and a great fight against Chisora on Saturday night. I'm sorry, but I want to speak French. Translate. Huh? <laughs> 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 bon, bon, je suis très content de revenir ici boxer au Royaume-Uni. Et quand on m'a proposé ce combat, j'ai pas dit non, parce que je, je crois que au jour d'aujourd'hui, c'est ici que se passe la boxe. I, I'm very glad to be back here in the UK. Last time was amazing for me, even though I lost. But um, when I was asked for this fight, I said yes with a, within a second because I know the UK is where uh, So I'm really glad to be here. Thank you very much. We expect a great fight between Derek Chisora and Carlos Takan for the WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. Now, on to the, the main event. Um, it's good to see my old friend here, David Higgins, I'm going to cut out one of his lines, which he told me earlier, he said, I like him because I make him, well, he makes me look like, let's say, a twat. When I am like a twat, it takes the heat off them. <laughs> exactly, but it is a pleasure to have you back here. We always do great business together. We love this fight, we made it in 48 hours, and a massive fight for the career of David Higgins, and particularly of Josie Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Look, first, first of all, I'm trying to be more observant and uh, present. And I've been looking around, and I find it quite fascinating that if you draw a line on the table here, all the bottles this way are made of plastic, and that way they're largely made of glass. <laughs> now, I think this is, I'm thinking this conspiracy, and I don't regard Dylan White as a sta mentally stable individual. So, you know, I'm concerned that there's all the plastic this side, glass that side. But look, on a more serious <laughs> playing with the glass bottle here, on a serious note. Um, I think I'm actually going to predict that this will be fight of the year, and uh, some people might um, ask why, and you know, there's a few simple reasons. People, they ask what, what is pay-per-view worthy? For me, a pay-per-view worthy fight has to hit the trifecta. The three things are, one, it's got to be evenly matched, and I think everyone would agree this fight's fairly evenly matched. Could potentially go either way, Two, it can't be boring, it's got to be entertaining. And I think everyone would agree that the styles make fights, and Dillian has got a style that comes forward and swarms, he looks for knockout, takes risks, that creates opportunities. 
Parker, his, one of his regrets in analysing the Joshua performance was perhaps not putting quite as much pressure on the Fermi kitchen thing. This time he said he's going to show a lot more intense. This means it's going to be an explosion, I'd say. It could be a few knockdowns. Um, I think it will be fight of the year. And the third one is there has to be a lot of stake. These two guys' careers are on the line, largely. They're, there's everything at stake. I, I think, uh, I think um, Dante Wilder will mess around and Josh will be Spivak, and the winner of this fight is a sitter for rematch against Joshua. And, um, and so it's, you know, it's competitive, it's not a stake. And um, also, uh, look, as I said, <laughs> Um, I think the other, then, then looking at um, the, the fight itself, I think Parker has a bit more on his plate than Dillian White. Dillian's only got to fight Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker has to fight Dillian and the officials. Now why do I say that? Twice ruled from the UK. First time there's a controversy. The referee changed the last minute. Second time, even Eddie Hearn said that it, the referee, Josh White, was a disgrace. And so, we, Joseph's got to fight Dillian and the officials, but guess what? I think he's going to do it, and I think he's going to finish Dillian by knockout in the, in the mid round seven. You, you, you said last time that you, you, know, you believe that he's winning against Anthony Joshua. What's the difference this time? How do you rate Dillian White? You took this fight very, very quickly, so obviously you see something where you feel like you're the big favourite going into this fight. I don't think Dillian's anywhere near as good as Anthony Joshua for a start. And I think his style of coming, he's he got a, I mean, he's got an entertaining style, but that is the Eve opening is where, and if Joseph, I think Joseph, if he fights discipline and fights clever, has too much class for Dillian, and when that opening comes, hopefully we uh, get stoppage. Thank you, David. We're going to move on to the training teams now. Kevin, welcome back. It was a pleasure to have you over for the last fight, and I know you've worked, again, diligently with Joseph in the lead up to this camp. Sense excitement from you and Joseph in this fight, and I think you know what kind of fight it's going to be, and I think you're ready for that kind of fight on Saturday night. Well, thanks, Eddie, and it's, it's great to be here, um, and it's great the way we're treated by the British people. The, we've got a lot of fans here in the UK now, and it makes us really feel at home when we get here. In fact, there was some little story with, with we were approached the other day by a gentleman by the name of Josh Stephan, who owns Fly Gloves, he rang me up and he says, I'm a huge fan of Joseph Parker's, I'd like to meet with you. I know you guys fight in Black Raiders every time you fight. And I said, yeah, we've had 25 fights and we fought in Raiders every time. He said, let me make a glove for you. And I thought, you know, are you for real? This is a, a British company, a British guy. And so we had a meeting with them and we're now wearing flies for the first time on Saturday night. So, uh, Right, well, they're getting sacked because they didn't wear flies as well. Yeah, but the that's their lot. You wear flies, that's your lot, you're right. Okay. Here you go, Josh. Back to Grand Survival, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we've, had, uh, we've, we've had a short but uh, very productive camp. Um, we sort of felt like it was a bit of a set up, even when we accepted the fight that uh, Eddie wanted Joe to fly all the way over here from New Zealand 24 hours, stay in London one day and then fly 10 hours to Vegas. So the first week in training camp, I had a zombie walking around who was seriously jet lagged, which cut our training camp down to six weeks. Uh, the four weeks after that that we, that we put together in Vegas would be the best block of training in the last five and a half years that Joe and I have put together. Joe knows the significance of this fight. He knows what we're up against. We're up against a very dangerous, very powerful, very hungry Dillian White. We have a lot of respect for Dillian White and his team. So forget about what David Higgins said, there'll be no trash talking from me. Um, I know the guy has hunger, I know he wants to get to the top, and he's got to come through Joseph Parker. So there's a lot of risk in this fight. But we've sparred 102 rounds in four weeks. We've never ever done that. We arrived here in London with a lot of confidence. You can see my fighter beside me. He looks in great shape. There is something burning in Joseph Parker's belly at the moment and he cannot wait to get into the ring with Dillian White on Saturday night. Kevin, just quickly, I know you won't give an exact prediction, but do you see this fight going 12 rounds? Look, I, I tell you what, I think this is a real boxing fans fight, um, as is you know, Derek and Carlos. Um, as hard as I look at this fight, the style that uh, Dillian White has, um, he would love nothing more than to fight Joseph Parker in a phone booth. You know, he's gonna be in our face, 
And if he continues to be in our face, it's going to be a very, very hard fight for us to win. But look, <coughs> I think this fight ends by knockout. Um, I, I don't see it going 12 rounds. Uh, the styles of both guys are going to make for a very explosive fight. There's going to be a lot of punches, and got, both guys are going to get hit a lot in the early rounds. Thanks, Kevin. Always a pleasure to have you here. Mark, um, been in some big fights with Dillian through your relationship with him. It doesn't get much bigger than this. And looking forward to Saturday night. Yeah, it's going to be a, it's de definitely going to be a, a rough, tough night for Joe Parker indeed, for sure. Um, let's not forget Dillian's, you know, we, we respect uh, Joseph's pedigree and we know what he's done and where he's come from. But Dillian White is going to take Joseph Parker to a level he's never felt before. Depths he's never felt before. He was going to rough him and tough him um, persistently and consistently articulate, you know, a bit cleverly, on point. Um, then we might put a bit of boxing in there, get behind the jab. But we're going to box fight our way to a victory and it's going to be a, 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 a brutal victory. Same question to you that I asked Kevin. Do you think this, this fight goes the distance? People talk about Joseph Parker's speed and, and the ability of Dillian has to get in there, like you say, to have a, a rough and tough fight. Does Dillian have to do that early in the fight? Well, Dillian's, Dillian's is, listen, to, 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 to boxing people, we know what, what this style's got to do to that style. And I'll be honest with you, um, Joseph Parker's team, I felt in his last fight, he made all the promises, what he was going to do, what he weren't going to do. He pulled, the wall over the, he pulled the wall over the fight fans of this country and he never delivered. He never delivered. I felt let down myself. And um, he, he, he is, he does, if he's looking for redemption, redemption, then there's hope he, he comes and brings it. But if he doesn't come and brings it, we'll walk him down and stalk him down and break him down persistently and consistently. We have to. We've got to eat. We've got to eat, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Joseph, you look great. I think you look better than you did leading up to the Joshua fight. Slightly stronger you looked last night, just, just messing around in the, in the ring there. And something in your eye says, you want this, you're ready to go. Well, firstly, it's great to be back in the end. Um, great to see you all. And it's great to see you know, all the fighters fit, healthy and ready for the fight night. Um, like my coach said, we're very thankful to the public and for the people for welcoming us and treating us nice while we're here. Um, training camp has been great. Like Kevin mentioned, it was a short camp, but it was probably the best camp that we've had in the five to six years we've been together. <coughs> so I'm in great shape, there's no excuses here. Um, <coughs> Before I used to come into fights and think, or I used to say, hopefully have a good fight, catch him clean, hopefully get a knockout. There's no hopefully here. No, I'm here to do damage. I'm here to you know, punch for bad intentions. You know, I'm going to break him down. I know I'm going to catch him flush. He's going to take a lot of punches. And you know, my, my opponent's been talking a lot of smack. And I think sometimes smack talk is a sign of doubt. And also it's a sign of trying to convince himself and convince others that he's ready for this big challenge. I hope he's ready to take a lot of punches because I'm going to give it real bad. Do you feel that as champion there's always that element of pressure on you, you know, you come out of New Zealand, you had the belt to defend all the time, now you, you seem to really have the challenge's mentality going into this fight. I feel like the challenge challenge's mentality, but the hunger, the motivation and drive, you know, it's, it's firing. And I'm just looking forward to putting a wall on display on Saturday night. You're ready for a war or something. Oh, bring it on. You want to mix it up, not move. I know you're going to move. He thinks, he thinks I can't go to war. The way they see. So it's not about speed and movement for Joseph Parker solely on something. Less movement, more punches. Did it? Less movement, more punches. Is that going to play into your style on Saturday night? Listen, this is boxing. People come and say they're going to do this, they're going to do that, they do something else. I'm experienced now. I've been in the game for long enough to know that, you know, talk and actions is two different things. So let's see what he comes with, you know, let's see. Whatever he comes with, I'll be ready for it. I've trained with a lot of lighter guys, fast guys, strong guys, you know. Um, so whatever he, he, wherever he wants it, I'll be there. You know, if he wants it long, rangy, if he 
he wants his shot, then you know, it is what it is, man. I'm, I'm good. Uh, something that Mark said really touched down. You, you have to win on Saturday, don't you? You, yeah, both, you both have to win. Because if you don't win, it's over at okay. the world level. Every single one of my fights has matched him. It's been like that anyway. Every time I'm going to keep saying you have a lost chair while you've been with us. Yeah, because, you know, listen, I'm here to win a You have to, don't you? You, yeah, you, you want world titles. The winner, the losers, the losers got nowhere to go in terms of world championship fights after this fight set. Yeah, yeah, listen, I, I come here to win. I've trained hard. You know, I give it my all and I look back at my camera and think, could I do anything better, anything more? And the answer is no. I'm ready to rock, man. I'm, I'm here, I'm ready to rock. Whatever they want, you know, like Agent Brown or something, they can man, if they want it, they can have it. <laughs> Finally, Joseph, predictions for Saturday night? <clears throat> A win, dominant performance, execute the plan, get the knockout. Dylan, do you see this going the distance? Can you stop Joseph Parker on Saturday? It depends on where he comes. If he comes to fight, like he said, then he gets knocked out. But, you know, if he comes to run, then I'm, and I'm going to eat my way up to a point of decision. And so, you know me, I always try to bring the pain and I always want to end these fights in bad fashion, you know. Um, he's been here a couple of times, no one ever hurt him yet. So I want to be the first to, to hurt him, you know. That prediction is pain, pure pain. Thank you, Dillian. Thanks everyone for coming out today, and especially the guys on the card and also up here. We have a huge night. One, two, one, two, one second. Sorry, Derek. Uh, I think Eddie and this guy, you guys should have a bet, a hundred grand bet. On the final. <laughs> <laughs> you should shake on it right now. Come on. Yeah. 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 I don't have a hundred grand. Ah, fifty piece. Hey, Biggest.